guys, it's Danielle. I wanted to have a super zen, chill vibe for today's video. So I'm trying out a new background, got the essential oil diffuser going on full blast, as you can tell. Very sleepy, um, so I am drinking coffee. This is actually in my own design. Um, I didn't mean to promo that, but <laughs> there's always a link down below if you guys want to check out my merch. This is a hustle mug. I have a ton of other things. It says Dan Fam right there and then hustle. Um, so I just made myself a cup of coffee. As you guys are watching this, today is Friday. And I've always heard the term like TGIF, thank God it's Friday. And today is really one of those days where I'm like, thank God it's Friday. The last two weeks have been so crazy busy for me school-wise, like literally academically. And I've been doing a lot of things with my sorority and got invited on some like frat things. So I've been super like college lately and it's been so fun. And I've had a great last two weeks, but like I really have just missed being able to sit in front of the camera and, do some vids for you guys. Anyways, I'm so excited because I'm gonna be filming a ton of videos this weekend. Even though I'm super burnt down, I don't know why. I'm actually going to a yoga class tomorrow morning um, at a local yoga studio. I just wanna try it out. It's like a slow flow, they call it. Anyways, it's a Friday evening. I just got back from being in the pool with some pals. We were just tanning. Well, I tried to tan. Nothing really ever works for me. I wanted to sit down and give you guys a school update, I guess. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions like, you know, what classes are you taking in the fall? What's your living situation for next year? Like, just a ton of things. Just kind of a school-related video, even though I'm, like, tired of talking, like, being school. I just feel like sitting down and updating you guys and everything. I don't know. So, I'll start off with my living situation for the fall. So, as you guys know, or if you don't know, I'm a freshman at the University of Georgia, and I love it so much. Um, in the beginning of the year, I decided it would be best for me to live in the dorms because I really wanted the whole experience. I love my homemates. It's the best thing I ever did. But I also wanted to lease my own space that I could film videos in because I knew, like, it would just get conf like it would become a conflict with my roommate and I like to have my own space and when my family came to come came to come came to visit they could stay at my apartment so at least a small apartment um, and it's like the best thing ever it's been so great when I need a getaway when I just need some me time or when I want to film a video this has been so great so that's where I am right now and at UGA you're required to live on campus your first year so I didn't really have a choice I paid for this apartment myself I just needed it I'm really into this background right now. Like, comment down below if you guys like this setup because I think I want to do it like all the time. Oh, it's golden hour right now. The sun's setting. Okay, anyways. <laughs> I'm so excited. I just signed a lease for a new apartment unit in the fall. I'm staying in the same building. I'm just upgrading a little bit. Um, I knew I wanted a different unit just because there was a lot of memories in this apartment and it's actually really, really small. And if it's going to be my sole living space, I definitely wanted a little bigger. I wanted something different. This one's like all the way within the hall and like it's a long, like, there's all these things. I just don't love this unit in particular. It's been great and it's gonna be so weird not living in it in the fall, but I just wanted a new apartment. There was potential for me to be actually get an apartment with two of my really good friends in my sorority, um, but they had already, um, by the time I decided, I asked them like, do you guys wanna live together? They had already decided to live in the sorority house. I didn't apply to live in the sorority house. I just knew like, it wasn't for me. I just like, I can go there all the time, hang out with all my pals. Everyone's like, yeah, come hang out with us all the time. But for me, I just know that I need my alone time. Like that's just how I work. I'm a very introverted out outrovert, if that makes sense. But I think it's for the best. I think I really do need my own space. My parents were like, no, you really do need your own space. Like I love the idea of having roommates and maybe junior year I'll room with those girls. But for now, it is definitely nice to have my own space and so like I can like go out do whatever and then I can come back and just like have me time because it's very important. <laughs> I'm so excited about the unit that I'm moving into in the fall. It is dope. I haven't seen it in person but like they just showed me the layout. I basically just told the apartment complex like hey I want a one bedroom apartment but I just want a little bigger and they're like oh have you heard about this and it's basically the same thing. It's basically it's considered a one bedroom apartment but it has an extra little room that they consider like an office or whatever you want it to be. So, <laughs> I'm gonna have my own little filming room, which has been a dream of mine forever, and it's just so cool. So, I'm gonna get the best of both worlds and have this apartment, and then have a little filming studio within my apartment, and it'll be great whenever my family comes to stay or whoever, like I can just pop an air mattress in that little room. I think I'm also gonna buy like a clothing rack and put like my current favorite clothing items there. I'll have like a filming setup. I'll film all around my apartment though. Um, and I'll have like a lot of like makeup organizers. It'll just be really good for me. And I'm really excited, and I hope you guys are excited too. There's gonna be so many move-in vlogs. 
apartment decoration, all that fun stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm really sad to like leave this apartment, but I'm bringing all this stuff with me. It's literally down the hall, a different floor, but um, so it's not gonna look too much different. Well, I guess it will, I'm gonna get different bedding. Anyways, that's my living situation, really pumped about it. So as for school, I had an academic advising appointment um, last week and I found out that I'm not on track to like graduate in time and like <laughs> didn't know that. It's just crazy. I feel like schools have gotten so much more intense. Like back in the day, my dad was like, you just went to college for four years and you were fine. Like there was no, I don't know. Basically, I didn't really come into UGA with any credits. My school didn't do dual enrollment, so that wasn't really a thing for me. Um, but I had a previous academic advisor before this one that I met with, and she didn't really tell me that like I needed to take some summer classes or something to like catch up. Didn't know that. I'm just being transparent with you guys. I didn't know that. So in order for me to be able to apply to Grady, which is the um, school that I would be doing like advertising in and all that fun stuff, I um, need to, you need to have, I forget how many, cert, you have to have a certain amount of semesters in that school before you can graduate. And basically for me able to be able to graduate on time, like in four years, I need to be able to apply to Grady next spring. So all of my classes that are required to get into that school need to be done by this coming fall. So, it's crunch time. So, I am getting, I am so excited. I am taking two, not one, two online summer courses. Um, really not ideal. You just need like certain culture classes. So I'm taking an art history class about Michelangelo. So I'm a little pumped about that because I saw some of his real work in person. So that'll be kind of cool. And then I have to take another class. As of now, it's global issues, but that may change. And they're basically online summer courses over two months. I've never taken an online class. I'm not really into that idea, but I am traveling so much this summer that I can't be going to like my local community college to go take those courses, so I have to do it online. So I'm definitely gonna have a lot of discipline this summer. I'm gonna have to learn how to have a lot of discipline because I'm literally traveling so much. I'm announcing this so soon. I'm just waiting on final, final, final details, but I'm going on tour this summer to meet a ton of you guys and to three different locations, might be more. I might be going to Iceland, I'm going to Spain, I'm going to on a two week trip to California slash Canada with my family, I'm going to probably somewhere else, honestly. <laughs> going to Illinois at the end of the summer for my family reunion, and this all has to happen before July 27th when I have to move back into school for sorority recruitment. So. It's gonna be a crazy summer, but y'all know the vlogs are gonna be good, and I'm so excited. You guys know I don't like to be sitting around a lot anyways. I love to travel, and this is what I want in my life. This is, I swear, you guys, like, I swear the law of attraction is real. Like, everything that I'm just wanting to, I'm like trying to see into the future is happening, and that's so cool. But anyways, back to school. We'll make another video about travel. <laughs> I think the coffee's kicking in. Yeah, I was in such a like blah mood, and then I just sat down to film, and I'm like in the best mood ever. This is why I love YouTube. It's so cool. Um, okay, so got that one down. Oh, okay, so the classes I'm taking in the fall. Um, basically, I'm taking a ton of core classes. Yay, you guys know I made a rant video about that. Uh, but you know, a lot of you guys are just like, hey, we all do it. We all have to take those core classes before we can take classes in our major. And I understand, it's just like a little difficult sometimes. It's a little frustrating. I sound like a baby right now, oh my god. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a big girl though, okay? Anyways, as of now, I have to take statistics. That's the last math class. I'm pretty sure I have to take, I don't really know though, I could be wrong. But I have to take stats to be able to apply to Grady. So I'm doing that in the fall. Me and Daly and Delaney Free are gonna make sure that we all take it in, th in the same class. Uh, because we all have to take it, so we're gonna like make sure we have a class together in the fall because that would be so depressing if we didn't. And then I have to take three world language or culture or social sciences classes. So one I have down is women's studies. I'm pumped about that. I think I'm gonna do human geography and anthropology, something like that, which I'm excited for. I don't have to take any more science classes after this fall or after this semester I'm in right now. Um, so that's one thing that I got rid of that I don't like to do. So I'm really pumped about that. Um, but yeah, it, I'm gonna try and do the same Tuesday, Thursday classes. This semester, I st stacked my classes, so I only have classes Tuesday, Thursday. And I'm not really, I'm like kind of worn out at the end of the day, but like, it is so worth it to not have classes, especially on Fridays and Mondays. Wednesday, I can have classes if I need. Mondays and Fridays, no classes is the best thing ever. Um, what else? Oh, I don't know if I said this already. <laughs> I was like, oh, <laughs> da-da. 
light bulb. I officially decided that I'm going to be minoring in fashion merchandising just because I want to take some classes that I enjoy. I think it'd be fun. So I'm advertising major, fashion merchandising minor. The, the major may change. I don't know if I'll get into more PR instead or I don't really know. I'm not, I, it's really hard to distinguish for me personally. Maybe I'm silly, but it's hard for me to distinguish the difference between uh, public relations, advertising, Honestly, even marketing, I get that all really confused, but marketing here is in the business school, I'm pretty sure. I think next May, I'm gonna do a may mister. Hopefully in Italy, if they offer that, I have to get looking at that, but I don't really wanna study abroad for a full semester. I don't know why, I just think with YouTube and everything and traveling, and I just don't wanna miss game days here at Georgia, so if I'm being honest. So I think next May, I'm gonna do a may mister, but that's like so far ahead of life, so. Yeah, all is well here. I'm finally getting the whole groundings of everything at UGA, figuring out the websites I need to use, like how to sign up for classes. It's confusing. Coming to a big school, when you're coming from a small school like I went to, where all your teachers knew your name and your counselor was there for you and they helped you pick your classes, like it is, you're really on your own. So that's one thing. If you're trying to figure out um, if you want to go to a big or a small college, Definitely look into your heart and be like, do I need someone kind of like up my butt? Because if you do, don't don't go to a big school. That's all I gotta say. I'm gonna be filming a ton more videos about like being a freshman at UGA, blah, blah, blah. Freshman advice in general. I have a ton of freshman year advice, tons. Um, so I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna do those closer to the end of summer just cause I feel like if I post them now, you guys are gonna like be like, yeah, whatever, summer, and then no one will watch them. So I wanna post them at like a, like a time that makes sense. Um, but yeah, comment down below any videos you guys want to see. I posted an Instagram. You guys should totally follow me on Instagram. It's at Danielle Carolyn. I'm really into it. Um, but I posted an Instagram asking you guys to request videos and I literally wrote down probably like 50 different requests. Like there was 500, but a lot of them were like the same. I wrote down the ones that really stood out to me. So when you guys request stuff, like I really do listen to them. Like one of you guys or multiple of you guys asked for like a school update. Like what classes are you taking? Like, how is it? How is everything? So yeah that's that i hope you guys enjoyed this video i love videos like this where i can just sit down and talk about stuff <laughs> um yeah comment down below what you want to see and subscribe if you're new here i post videos every wednesday and sunday and honestly usually more than that so stick around i love you guys and i'll see you soon Bye bye